Hey guys, welcome to another video, and in this one we're going to be speculating about side missions in Assassin's Creed Empire. But for those of you who aren't interested in that and are just watching this because, oh boy, Fishy has uploaded a video. Here are a couple of pictures of Dennis struggling to figure out what a cucumber is. Now, okay, let's get into the speculation about Assassin's Creed Empire's side missions. So, as we all know, um, a game can, an open world game cannot rely specifically on the story to be fun. Like, it can be good via the story, but it needs to be fun for you to want to play it, and the gameplay is one way to do that, but another way is to have plenty of side activities and side missions. So that means, say, unique side missions, like assassination contracts and etc. like they've had in previous games, maybe bounty hunts and stuff like that, like they had in Syndicate, races, I don't understand why they'd have races, but you know, have races, uh, parkour stuff, races, challenges, uh, chests to loot, stuff to collect, like the feathers in Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, and codex pages and etc, and stuff like that, so it needs that stuff to be fair. Um, so let's start off with the collectibles. The, to, to, be fun, to, to be fun outside of any side missions, you need collectibles. <laughs> so collectibles are quite fun, pointless at times, but quite fun. So, you know, get achievements and stuff, get maybe unlock some secret armor through the collectibles, something like that. That would be really cool, and I think that they could probably do something with that, but they, they probably will have collectibles in it, because they have collectibles in every single Assassin's Creed game, and you either know, had cards, and in Syndicate they had the Helix stuff, but I don't act, I reckon that they'll probably carry that over, and maybe even bring back other things maybe hopefully feathers this feathers are fun to collect they're a pain in the ass to find but they were fun it was a good two hours of searching with help from the online stuff so that'll be fun now i want to move on to side missions and activities that are a bit more you know hands-on maybe story driven so side missions need to be more story driven like how in syndicate the missions were fairly story driven on the side mission so you had side missions for darwin dickens and every other Joe and Jill that's, you know, important from that time period. And you sort of had, a, like, a set of missions to do for them, and they were all fairly unique. Although they were quite repetitive in what you had to do. They all had unique storylines and stuff to do within them. And that was what made them fun, and Syndicate was quite fun to do for side missions. All, my only criticism was that it, it took me a... After a few days of doing that, I, there was nothing left to do. So they need to have them sort of like that. But I think they need to have assassination contracts that regener are randomly generated and regenerate. Now, I don't say randomly generated because I've been googling randomly generated memes for the past half an hour. That's true, but I just want randomly generated missions because that, so that way we'll never run out of boring things to do. And we won't just be stuck to our own devices to explore. Because, you know, it is possible to uh, sort of make randomly generated missions. And if there's the boundaries of these random generations wise enough they could be really 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 fun so that would be really cool to see i'd like to see randomly generated side missions like that assassination contracts and stealing stuff and like you know stuff like that which would be really cool i guess so you know that, that that's just something that popped into my mind before i re start recording just does start that would be a really cool idea so you know Hopefully that's a thing. I mean, I don't credit Ubisoft for trying to do that, but they could do it. And that would be really, really fun, to be fair, because if you had, like, I don't know, say, there's no way you could probably get the same, exact same mission as somebody else. So there's a slight chance, but not exactly likely. And I don't mean, like, in Fallout 4, how you have randomly generated missions. That aren't necessarily, well, what they have is they've got, like, maybe three or four locations that they tend to go to. And there's a high chance they go into it, and it's always the same thing. That's that that, that was pretty uh, mundane, to be fair. But I mean, I mean proper like proper proper side missions and stuff. But you know, full boundaries, go anywhere, kill anyone, uh, have a sort of different set of things you could be doing there, and that'll be fun. So, comment down below what you think, guys. Uh, there hasn't been much discussed in this video, to be fair, because we all know what we want. Comment what you want down in the comment section. Uh, thanks for watching guys, um, hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. And remember that if you're having a bad day, Dennis doesn't know what a cucumber is. So thanks for watching guys, so yeah. Still don't think he likes my haircut.